As I stood in front of the ancient pantheon, which is still standing after 2000 years, I was struck by the mysterious and seemingly undestructible nature of Roman concrete. I'd believe you if you told me that this grand dome was only 50 to 100 years old, but here it was, defying the sands of time. That, however, is not the most impressive aspect. Like some kind of living regenerative being, Roman concrete has the uncanny ability to heal itself. As I grew older, I became increasingly fascinated by this ancient mystery. Scientists had been baffled for years as to how the Romans created such long-lasting concrete. But, about a decade ago, they announced that they had cracked the code and identified the key ingredient as volcanic ash. While this was an important step forward, it left many questions unanswered. How did the ash react with water to form such a strong material? But now, after years of research, the full story has finally been revealed. While we mix concrete cold, the Romans did it hot, and the role of high temperature mixing, and the presence of large chunks of limestone in the concrete, was discovered as the missing piece of the puzzle. These chunks, it turns out, are the key to self-healing properties of the concrete. When water flows over concrete cracks, it reacts with the exposed limestone, forming a hard calcium carbonate that effectively seals the crack. The crack can be completely healed in as little as two weeks. It's no surprise that Roman concrete has withstood the test of time, especially when exposed to water for thousands of years. 